Unfortunately, 365 days of sport doesn't fund itself. This is where you come in. We need people like you to help sponsor our shows. Are you a helpful person? Are you the type of person that's going to give back to society by uniting the people together as one here at 365 Days of Sport? Contact us on this email address to find out more information. Every show we do can be sponsored and it's really, really cheap. Let Sponsorship Fest begin. the Flyboard Championships World Air Games here in Dubai. We're here with Megan Malone. Megan, this is the first time I've seen Flyboard. I came around the corner there and the first three words that came out of my mouth started with the initials uh, W, T and F. Right. Um, it's pretty crazy stuff out there. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's We're, definitely a general in a rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when was this invented? It came out, I think 2012 was the first board that came out. Okay. So it's very recent. Yes, sir. It must be inspired by Back to the Future 2 or that hoverboard scene, possibly. No? Yes? Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, how about that? We've got Gemma here all the way from New Zealand. We're here representing in, in Dubai. New Zealand yeah. is representing. Um, <laughs> finish up number one spot after the first round. Are you happy yeah. with that? Very happy. Mm -hmm. Very happy, yeah. How did you come across this one? Like, I've, I've not come across this before ever. I was somewhat baffled when I saw the people up in the air there. It's pretty uh, yeah. <laughs> crazy stuff. It is crazy stuff. Um, my brother actually sort of told me, like, introduced me to it. He bought a flyboard, the original one. And um, yeah, he was like, I'm going to make this work mm -hmm. and, you know. Is there much support from back home sponsorship wise? No, I'm actually sponsored by a, a, um, a company in the States, Powerflow okay. Products. So, right, okay. Um, and they, they're like family to me now. Right. So oh, brilliant. They're awesome. That's they're absolutely very good of them. awesome. They're backing me 100%. It's, okay. Uh, All right, here we are with Kristen Smoyer. Just a pretty impressive routine there. How are you feeling? You look pretty pumped. Oh yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, I have yeah. so much adrenaline in my heart. It's just woo, woo, woo. Are you, are you an adrenaline addict? Is that what got you into the Not sport? really, actually. Yeah. It's funny, I'm actually deathly afraid of heights. Mm -hmm. And I'm a mother of a six-year-old, so <laughs> you would think I would be like really responsible. Yeah. But I just, I started off driving people, mm -hmm. and then started doing it, and I just fell in love with it. Yeah, right, right, Great right. friendships from it, it's just awesome. So, in the world rankings, where are you sitting now? I think third. Oh, right. I tried right. not to pay attention to that. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it better when I wasn't ranked, yeah. so there was no expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Here with Valentine at the Flyboard Champs, all the way from Mexico. Yes, from Mexico, but originally from Montreal, Canada. Mm -hmm. You are first time here in Dubai? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's our preparation been going for this event? Very well. I've been training very hard. Um, I've been practicing flyboard for less than a year and a half, so this is huge for me. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, like the experience so far is amazing. I'm happy to see my flyboard family. Yeah. What's your sort of uh, signature move out there? Oh, I love to do my 1080 backflip. That's like mm -hmm. a little. I love to. 1080. Everything. Is that three? Is that three? Is the spin? Yeah. yeah, you do three spins and then a backflip. It's probably quite hard yes. to demonstrate. We're sitting on the platform here. You it's need. Like, you need... <laughs> <laughs> Straightforward, easy as that. I think even I could do that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah right. easy. Let's do it. Good. we have on our show is we have a chance of death rating okay. uh, and we, we measure the sport on how dangerous it is. What, what, it's a five point scale, okay. five being the most dangerous, one the least. Where would you think this would rank? 
like maybe a one. one. I don't think anyone could would die from it, <laughs> and I haven't seen anyone get seriously injured from it. Really? So. I guess mm -hmm. the water's always there to protect yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the worst that happens, you smack the water, mm, but sure. What stinks for a minute, and then it's good. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I'm. I look at what people are doing out there, and I worry about hurting myself a lot. Uh, have you ever had any problems with that? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, you. You go out there and train and you like you will smash yourself. Yeah, I, I always worried about getting injured and hurting myself. Is there much chance of that out there? <laughs> well, you do get injured. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I won't lie to you. When you try new tricks, new heights, uh, you do get injured yeah. because, I mean, you don't get your trick the first time. If you do, you're very lucky or very good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you do get a bit of bruises, nothing, sprained ankle, yeah. stuff like that. What sort of heights can you get to on that thing? I don't really, I'm really high. Yeah, yeah. I think probably about on um, the 23 meter, probably about like 55 okay. feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hope you haven't fallen from that distance. That could do some damage. Yes, yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. I actually have a bone protruding out of my chest right, right. here from it, um, but my fault. Yeah. I, did. I was, I was flying outside my skill level. Okay. So. Well, just do it anyway. You yeah. know, yeah, you don't yeah. seem too phased. No. Broken bones, just keep trucking. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> really? I got heels on, you know. 